So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial. Uh, we are going to be continuing with the roulette game. So this is a part two. And if you didn't watch the part one, you can go ahead and watch that one. Uh, but it's not necessary because in this tutorial I'm going to explain the things uh, from the scratch anyway. And we are going to be working in uh, HTML5 Canvas and we are going to be writing uh, a code with the JavaScript. Uh, so right now I will very quickly show you what was the part one. And uh, basically uh, I have this uh, roulette and I have this uh, from the free pick and I'm going to provide you a link in the description. And in the first video I, I showed you how you can adjust this uh, in the Illustrator and later on we were writing a code in the Adobe Animate. In this tutorial I am going to provide you this, so I'm not going to show you the Illustrator part and if you want to know uh, that one you have to go and watch the first one. And uh, what we did is uh, I have some kind of budget and uh, in here I'm going to generate the random number and I have created this uh, 1 to 18 button and if I'm going to click it is going to generate me a random number and if it's going to be between 1 to 18 it is going to increase my budget by 20. And if I click one more time it is going to generate me another random number It's between 1 to 18 so it is going to increase my budget. And uh, this 19 to 36 if I'm going to click this it is going to generate me a random number and yeah. So I will uh, click this one more time so right now it's 2 and I, I lost. And in this tutorial, we are going to do the same thing, but we are going to do the thing with even or odd. So we are going to generate a random number and later on we are going to determine uh, whether the, the number is even or whether the number is odd. Uh, so yeah, this is what we are going to be doing today. Uh, there is one thing that I want to say uh, before we will start, because I don't want to lie to any one of you. I am not a professional with the uh, JavaScript and I have been doing animations as a job, uh, but this code I am just learning. Uh, so there are things that maybe you can do better and there are still many things that I don't know, but I just want to share the things that I know. Uh, so right now I can go to the Adobe Animate and I am going to create new document. Uh, and uh, I am going to go with uh, 1000 by 1000, but you can go with uh, any size that uh, you want. And I want this to be HTML5 canvas and the frame rate uh, is uh, good as it is for now. And I am going to hit uh, create. Uh, now. I am going to, uh, I will go to the place where I have my Illustrator file and this is something that I am going to provide you. But uh, uh, to have the, the code, you do not need uh, to have this, uh, this roulette. You can go ahead and create your own buttons and uh, just uh, write the code. This roulette is just uh, fancy graphics. Uh, right now. Uh, now I'm going to have uh, two layers and uh, this layer 2 is going to be just a background that I temporarily made in the Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to click on it to select it and I'm going to delete it. But it's just deleted the background and uh, the layer is still here but it's empty. So I will go to the layer 2 and I'm going to delete it like so. So right now I'm going to have only layer 1. And I'm going to click anywhere and I, I will go to the stage and I'm going to choose some kind of background color. And I can go maybe with uh, some kind of green uh, like so, but you can choose whatever color. Uh, now I'm going to select this and with the, with the Q I'm going to scale this little bit and I'm going to position this uh, where I want. Uh, be careful because uh, if you are going to try to uh, maybe align it right now, if I will, will go to the align and I would click uh, align, it is going to align it like so, so I do not want to uh, do it like so. We would have to group this, align it, then ungroup this, but uh, I don't want to do that. Now uh, I am going to get the text tool uh, and I am going to still be on the layer 1 so we can, we can have everything on the layer 1 and uh, with the text tool we have two options, we have an option to have static text and we have an option to have a dynamic text and in a second I will explain the uh, difference. Uh, but for now I would like to start with the static text and I am going to click uh, in here and I am going to type something like uh, budget for example. And uh, then I am going to change the color to the white if you if you don't have it to the uh, as a white. And then I can uh, I can scale it either with the Q or I can scale it uh, like so with the font uh, that uh, doesn't matter. Uh, and then I'm going to get the text tool one more time. But right now I'm going to change it to the uh, dynamic text and I'm going to click in here and I'm going to type uh, 1000 for example. And I'm going to scratch it uh, like so like uh, like this. And uh, the difference between uh, the static text and dynamic text uh, basically is that uh, when we have a dynamic text uh, we are going to be able to change this with the JavaScript and you can see that when it is dynamic text it is automatically 
uh, is automatically going to have an instance name by which we are going to be targeting this with the JavaScript and the static text, uh, static text doesn't, doesn't have it uh, because we won't be able to change uh, its value with the JavaScript. Uh, now with, it, with this dynamic text, uh, there can be a little issue because uh, it can be a little bit offset in, in some browsers. Uh, there is a solution for that one, uh, but uh, there's not for this tutorial. But uh, just keep in mind that uh, you can have a little issue with this dynamic text. Uh, but yeah, and I can go ahead and maybe uh, maybe put it like so. And with the queue, I am going to I am going to scale this little bit. And now uh, one more time, I'm going to get the, the text and I would like to have a dynamic text and I will go maybe in here and I'm going to write uh, zero and I will put it uh, like uh, like so. And uh, this uh, zero, I'm going to just uh, scale a little bit and I will change a uh, 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 color. So I'm going to click and I'm going to uh, choose maybe uh, something like uh, something like this. So I do not want to have this number to be completely completely white. And now I am going to uh, give an instance name. Uh, so I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to call it to be uh, my uh, budget, for example. But you can uh, go ahead and choose whatever name. And later on in the code, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, but right now uh, I wouldn't be able. But in here, I'm going to have uh, instance name my budget. And uh, this one, I'm going to click and I'm going to call this to be, uh, I don't know, uh, result uh, number. Or, or you can call it my result or whatever. And now, I'm going to copy this name, Control C, and I'm going to create a new layer, and I can go ahead and call this layer to be code if I want, and I will uh, right click, I will choose actions, I will zoom in a little bit with the uh, Control and mouse wheel, and right now I can uh, start and type. So I can go ahead and type uh, this, then I'm going to paste the uh, result number, and then I'm going to type uh, text, and I can type that uh, it's going to be, for example, uh, uh, 50. And right now, if I'm going to hit Control Enter, what is going to happen is uh, that it is going to change me this number uh, to 50. And now uh, I can do the same thing uh, with uh, this one. So I'm going to copy the name, uh, my budget. And by the way, right now, uh, if I have, if I'm like so, I can just click this uh, center stage, and it is going to put me to the center stage. But yeah, uh, I will go back to the code F9, and I'm going to uh, duplicate this line of code. So I'm just going to be on the end of the line, and I will hit Control D, and I'm going to change it. Uh, uh, this, uh, my budget text is going to be equal and I can put it, for example, to uh, 500. And if I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter, this is going to be 500 and this is going to be 50. Uh, now we are going to store these numbers to some kind of variables. And if you have watched the first one, uh, first tutorial, uh, some of the things I'm going to repeat a little bit, uh, but, uh, but yeah. So right now I'm going to type uh, let uh, result, for example like so result uh, is going to be uh, 1000 and uh, uh, right now I'm just uh, playing with these numbers but you can choose whatever numbers you want and I'm going to type uh, let uh, budget is going to be equal uh, to uh, 1000 also later on we are going to change this and now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, this result number text to be equal to result so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to replace it like so. And uh, this, my budget text is going to be equal uh, to, the, to the budget, like, uh, like so. And I can, uh, I can go ahead and put this result to, to be zero and a budget to be, to be 1000. And uh, I, I wrote the uh, let, you can go ahead and uh, write the uh, var if you want, but the uh, let is like the new version of the JavaScript. And I will hit Ctrl Enter and right now it is going to be zero and uh, 1000. Uh, now we are going to uh, generate the random number and uh, uh, in this tutorial, I'm not going to go uh, too much about details. I created a tutorial about random number and I will put it in the description. Uh, but basically right now I can uh, go ahead and type uh, let random uh, number is going to be equal to the, and I will type uh, math dot uh, floor uh, and in the parentheses uh, math uh, dot uh, random and uh, then uh, parenthesis like so, and I'm going to write uh, that multiplied by uh, 37. And uh, basically, uh, this is going to 
uh, generate me a random number between 0 and uh, 36 and as I said I do not want to right now uh, spend like 5 minutes <laughs> explaining this uh, so uh, if you want uh, you can go ahead and check the tut tutorial about random number uh, it's like 15 or 20 minutes uh, explaining it uh, in a very detail uh, but for now we are going to have it like so basically this math.random is going to make me a random number between uh, 0 and 1 I can show you I will type uh, console.log and I'm going to uh, type in here uh, math.random and uh, parenthesis like so and if I'm going to hit uh, control enter and I'm going to click F12 or you can uh, you can uh, on, on the Google Chrome right click and choose inspect uh, in, in the console it is going to generate me a random number between 0 and 1 and it is going to be uh, a random number with all of these uh, decimal numbers and basically basically uh, we are going to uh, I can delete it we are going to have this math.random multiplied by uh, 37 so this is going to generate me a uh, number which is going to be uh, between 0. Point something and uh, 36 point something and this math.floor is going to make number which is going to be 5.5 .5 to be 5 number which is going to be 9.999 to be 9 and so on but yeah i'm not going to i'm not going to be spending time uh, with this one and now what i can do is uh, instead of putting uh, this result number text to be result what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it in here and i'm going to make this result number text is going to be a random number so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to uh, paste it in here like so and i will hit ctrl enter and basically right now uh, we are going to have uh, uh, a different number every time that we refresh so if i'm going to refresh this right now it's going to be 12 and uh, and so on uh, so basically uh, we have uh, at the beginning said that uh, this uh, result number text is going to be result so it's going to be zero but later on is uh, we are going to rewrite this to be random number so we do not do not see this as a, uh, as a zero so if I'm, if I'm going to hit control enter and I'm going to refresh this, uh, refresh this uh, it was like zero for a very 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 little point of time and then it has uh, changed to this uh, to this random number uh, now what I want to do is uh, I don't want to generate a random number uh, immediately uh, but I would like to generate it uh, after some time uh, so uh, or uh, after uh, after some kind of event so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a button from this uh, from this event so I'm going to click on the on this text and I will go to the uh, modify uh, convert to symbol or you can go with f8 and I would like this uh, to be to be button and you can go ahead and name this so I can call this for example even uh, button no? btn uh, but this name uh, is not important for us right now and I'm going to click uh, OK and now the, the important name is uh, this one so I'm going to call it for example btn even okay uh, so the first name that I have created is just the name of the movie clip or of the button uh, in the in the library and that's uh, the, it, it has nothing to do with the JavaScript and uh, and this one is uh, has all to do with the JavaScript uh, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to copy this control C and I will go to the code so I'm going to click F9 or you can right click and choose actions and I'm going to type that uh, this uh, button even and I'm going to create some kind of space so uh, like this so this uh, button even on and we would like to have this on uh, on uh, click uh, then uh, comma and this click is in this quotation marks and uh, then uh, the function that we are going to create uh, the, which uh, that we are going to call so for example uh, I'm going to call it to be even f like even function but uh, this name is optional you can call this whatever and then I'm going to type uh, dot and I'm going to type uh, bind and uh, in the in the parentheses I'm, I'm going to type this and uh, this uh, bind this uh, I will explain uh, in a minute okay when uh, I will have an example and now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, type uh, function and I'm going to create uh, the function with this exact name so function uh, even f uh, even f uh, parenthesis 
then curvy parentheses and uh, yeah. Uh, so now what I want to do is uh, uh, I'm going to create some kind of changes in here. So first of all, I'm going to cut uh, this math.floor, math.random multiplied by 37. So I'm going to cut this, control X. And uh, in here I'm, I'm going to type that uh, random, random number is going to be equal to this math.floor and so on. And in here, I'm going to put it uh, like so. So outside of the function, in the main scope, I can call it, uh, I just uh, declared this variable, let.random, uh, and it has like uh, no value, it has no, uh, no number, nothing. I, I just declared this uh, variable. And then in this function, I am uh, right now without the let, so right now I cannot write the let one more time. Uh, so right now I'm just going to type the name of the uh, name of the uh, variable and I'm going to uh, make uh, make it to be some number, the, the number that we are going to generate. And the thing is that uh, I could go, for example, and I'm going to uh, comment this out. So I this when something is commented out, it's like it's not even there. And I can uh, declare the variable inside of the function. Yes, that would be fine. Uh, but the thing is that if I'm going to declare a variable, uh, in the function, uh, this variable is going to be accessible only in that function, okay? And uh, if I'm going to declare the variable uh, here in the main scope, I will be able to, to access, it, uh, access it from all of the functions, basically. So I want to declare it in here and then uh, in, the, in the function, I, I am going to generate this random number. Uh, then what we can do maybe is just uh, console log this random number. So I'm going to hit uh, console.log and I would like to console.log this uh, random number like uh, so. And, uh, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, make uh, uh, this, uh, this result number text uh, to be the random number. So I'm going to copy this, control C, and I'm going to uh, paste it in here, control V. Uh, so this result number text is going to be random number. Uh, right now I'm going to explain this uh, bind this because uh, uh, if I'm going to get rid of bind this, I, I am not going to be able to write uh, the word this inside of the function. So if I, if I will go back and I'm going to have bind this, uh, right now I will be able to write this inside of the functions, basically. Uh, so now I'm going to hit control enter and what is going to happen? Uh, at the beginning, we are not going to be, we are not going to see our number. And if I'm going to click on this uh, even, uh, it is going to, it is going to generate me a random number. Okay, uh, so there are a few things. Uh, first of all, uh, why don't we see, uh, why, why don't we see uh, the number at the beginning? We have said uh, the variable result to be zero, that's fine. And then we are saying that this result number text is going to be result. Okay, so it should be zero. But then we have this uh, random number, which right now is like empty, it's uh, null, it's uh, undefined, and uh, it's actually undefined, but uh, 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 then we are uh, saying that this result number text is going to be random number, but it's undefined, so it's not going to put anything in there. Uh, so as soon as I'm going to get rid of this, like so, uh, we are going to have in here the number that uh, we have uh, as a variable result. And uh, the other things uh, is that uh, with this even right now, uh, I would like to be able to click uh, to the to the whole button but uh, right now only uh, only the text is uh, clickable you can see my mouse that it is going to be like so the arrow and it is going to change only when i'm going to be over the text so what i can do with this is uh, uh, i am going to uh, click on this and it is button with this uh, instance name and i am going to double click and uh, when you have a button you are going to have like four options but we are going to be carried on uh, we are going to care only for the first two and uh, on the on the first one, I'm going to get the uh, rectangle tool and I'm going to choose whatever fill color and I'm going to create uh, a shape uh, like uh, like uh, so, for example. And I'm going to uh, position it a little bit like so. And then I will click and I'm going to uh, change the color to the color of the background. Uh, so right now what is going to happen 
is uh, basically uh, my button is going to be clickable uh, anywhere uh, in this region, the, the, the shape that we have created. So I can click and it is going to generate me this random number. And what I can do uh, with this button is uh, I can go to this over and I can click F6 or you can, you can right click and choose insert keyframe. And in here I'm going to uh, just basically change uh, color. And uh, what is going to happen that if I'm going to click uh, control enter to test this and I will go over this button, it is going to like change, uh, change the color. And I can click F12 in the Google Chrome to see uh, the to see the console. And uh, maybe you are going to have some kind of uh, uh, some kind of warning, uh, but uh, this is not error. Errors are with the red color and uh, for now I'm not going to be worried about this. So I'm going to click this even and it is going to generate me this random number and it is also going to console log me this uh, random number. And uh, now, uh, now uh, what we can do is uh, I will go back to the back to the code. So with F9 and uh, we, we will have to uh, uh, we will have to determine uh, whether this uh, number right now is going to be uh, odd or the number is going to be even. So we are going to uh, uh, create one more variable in here. So I'm going to type uh, let and I'm going to call it to be remain uh, number, for example. And uh, I'm not going to set it to, to any number. And what I'm going to do, and let me create some kind of space in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, uh, I'm going to type that uh, this remain number and I'm going to actually copy this. So remain number is going to be equal and it is going to be equal and I'm going to put in the parentheses and uh, I'm going to make uh, the random number and later on I will explain this. So random number, then uh, this uh, percentage is sign and uh, two. Okay. And then we are going to we are going to console the, the log uh, this uh, this uh, remain number. Okay, so like uh, like this. And uh, now what is going to happen is that uh, maybe I'm going to I'm going to explain you this uh, uh, with uh, with uh, with something different at the beginning. So uh, I'm going to, instead of the random number, because uh, the random number can be anything, I'm going to set this, for example, to be, to be 18. And uh, this uh, 18, uh, this, uh, this doesn't mean divide, this is something different. And uh, 2 basically means that uh, 18 uh, divided by 2 is going to be 9. And we are not going to have any rest number, so it is going to be 0. But if I'm going to have this as 19, uh, it is going to be like 19 divided by 2 is like 9 and half. But in this way, it is not going to put this to the decimal numbers. So it is going to say that like 19 divided by 2 is like 9. And we are going to have one number rest. Okay. So if I'm going to hit control enter right now, and I'm going to click F12, and I'm going to click, it is going to gener generate me a random number. And then it is going to console log me uh, the, the remain number, which is going to be 1. And I will try to explain this one more uh, or, or a few more times. If I'm going to set this to be 15, for example, and this one is going to be 5, uh, what is going to happen that uh, if I'm going to divide uh, 15 by 5, it is going to be 3. And we are not going to have any rest number because 15 is dividable by 5. So this is going to uh, make this remain number to be 0. And I will hit Ctrl Enter, F12. And I will click, and of course this is going to be zero. And if I'm going to make this, for example, 18, and I hope that uh, right now it uh, makes sense. In if I'm going to make this to be 18, 18 uh, if I'm going to divide 18 by 5, it is going to be 3. And we are going to have the 3 number rest. So 16, 17, 18. Or I can go with 19. 19 divided by 5 is 3, because we can divide only 15 by 5. And we are going to have uh, the... For, uh, for rest numbers. Okay, I, ho I hope I'm not maybe explaining this uh, the best way, but I hope that it, it makes sense. Right now it is going to be, it is going to be four. And what we want with this? I'm going to right now put it back to the random number and I'm going to uh, put this uh, back to the two. 
and basically what is going to happen is that if I'm going to have a number which is going to be 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, or basically if I'm going to have even number, uh, this remain number is going to be 0, because there is not going to be any rest number, and if I'm going to have uh, an odd number, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on, it is going to put me uh, this to be to be 1, basically. So, uh, I, I hope that uh, this makes sense right now. And uh, now with this, we can create some kind of if-else statement. Uh, so I can go ahead and type uh, that if uh, this remain number, so I'm going to copy this, if this remain number is going to be equal, and you can go with double equal sign or you can go with triple, uh, the, the double is fine for now. So I'm going to type if remain number is equal to zero, I can go ahead and for now uh, console.log that uh, uh, it is uh, even and uh, you won, for example. And then I can type uh, else if, uh, and in this else if I'm going to say that if this uh, remain number, and I'm going to copy this, uh, else if this remain number is going to be one, uh, then I would like to uh, console.log, so I'm going to just type this uh, console.log, that uh, that uh, it is uh, odd and you lost okay and i'm going to i'm going to click uh, control enter and i'm going to click f12 and basically i'm going to click we are going to have number which is 12 and it is even you won because it is going to put me a zero this remain number i will click one more time uh, 24 Okay, it is even, you won. I will click one more time, 27, it is odd, you lost. So, uh, I hope that uh, this makes sense, and uh, and we can continue. Uh, there, is, uh, there is one thing uh, that uh, I, will have to, I will have to put in here, and that's uh, if, uh, if the random number is going to be, let me, let me uh, open it like so, uh, we, the, the even number is like 2, 4, 6, uh, and so on, and the odd number is from 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, okay, that, <laughs> that's obvious, but uh, the 0, uh, I, I, I don't know, but I, I, I guess that, uh, I don't play roulette, but I guess that uh, 0 is not uh, included in this, uh, in this uh, even uh, number so what i uh, but it is going to if i'm going to have uh, zero it is going to put me in uh, e this as an even number so what i'm going to do is that uh, in this uh, in this condition i'm going to say that if remain number is uh, equal to zero uh, and i'm going to type in here and uh, this uh, random number i'm going to copy this random number is uh, bigger than uh, than zero, okay? And uh, in, in this uh, other uh, remain number is equal to one. Uh, in here, we do not need to uh, make this. I, I can go ahead, of course, and copy this and paste it in here. Uh, but in here, it's not necessary because uh, uh, the odd number never is going to be zero. But in here, we, we will have to also make this with the uh, with the zero. Uh, so yeah. And uh, and yeah, now we can we can do something more interesting. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, change this uh, budget. So basically I'm going to I can copy this, and I can uh, in here if uh, element number is going to be equal to zero and the random number it's not going to be zero, it's going to be bigger than zero. We can console.log it's even and you won. And what I can do is I can type that the budget is uh, plus equal. Uh, 20 uh, for now uh, in the next tutorial we can uh, work with the text input and uh, bet uh, how much we want uh, but for now we are going to be just betting 20 or you can go with any number and then we will have to uh, display this budget because this is just we are just changing the variable and I will have to uh, go to this my budget text is equal to budget so I will have to copy this line of code and I will I will have to paste it in here like so and the same thing I'm going to do when we are going to have the odd number and we are going to lose. So I'm going to paste this and uh, in here I'm going to put the budget is minus equal 20 and this my budget text is going to be budget. So right, right now I'm going to click control enter 
and I am going to click this even button and we have generated a random number which is 24. It, is, uh, it has increased my budget by 20 and in the console it is even and you won. And I will click one more time. Now it's 11, the budget has decreased and, uh, and so on. Uh, so yeah, and, uh, and yeah. Uh, now uh, I can get rid of this uh, this space in here, and uh, and we can uh, we can continue. Uh, now what I would like to do is uh, I would like to create uh, the the same thing for the for the button odd. So I'm going to I'm going to duplicate this uh, this uh, even listener, and I'm going to type this uh, btn uh, odd uh, on click. And uh, and uh, in here uh, we are going to we are going to come uh, come to here uh, in a second because what I want to do is I would like to create this uh, button so I will go back to the Adobe Animate to the to the main timeline and I'm going to click on this odd text and I'm going to click F8 and I'm going to make this as a button and I can call this to be symbol one that's fine I don't care and uh, I will go inside uh, and I'm going to get the rectangle tool whatever uh, color and I'm going to create a uh, shape like this and uh, yeah I'm not going to uh, care too much and maybe I can like uh, scale this a little bit uh, like so and now I'm going to change this color to be the color of the stage and then I will go to this over f6 and uh, I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to I'm going to uh, make it to be maybe this color like so and I will go to the scene one like so and I'm going to call to be uh, btn odd like so and uh, yes I, uh, now we can go back uh, so in, in the first tutorial uh, I showed you uh, that uh, I had this uh, the first button uh, it was a button 1 to 18, I was calling one function and with the button 19 to 36, I was calling another function. In this tutorial, we are going to uh, call the same function with both of the buttons. So I'm going to, I'm going to change this and I'm going to make uh, this uh, button even on click and uh, this is going to be, I'm going to call this even or or the F, but this name is optional. And uh, then I'm going to on this this button odd also call the same function. So even or uh, odd F. And we will have to change this now this name. So it is going to be uh, even or odd F. And now what is going to happen? If I'm not going to uh, make any changes, that uh, if I'm going to click on this even button, it is going to be generating random number as we were doing and so on. And if I'm going to click uh, to this odd number, it is going to be doing the same thing. So right now we have uh, two buttons which are doing uh, absolutely the, the same thing. And uh, now we will have to uh, somehow uh, determine uh, which button we have clicked. And what we are going to do is we are going to put a uh, parameter in here. I'm going to call this to be E, but you can call it whatever. And um, I'm going to type uh, console.log E for now. Okay, and I'm going to hit control enter. And I'm going to click F12. And if I'm going to click to this even, it is going to, this is going to be this E. And you can see that it's like type click target library even uh, even button, current target library even button and so on. And if I'm going to click on this odd, it is going to uh, console log me this type click, target library symbol one, current target library symbol one, because th this one we have called symbol one. So what I'm going to do right now is, uh, is I would like to console.log e and I would like to console current uh, target. So if I'm going to click control enter right now and I'm going to click F12, if I'm going to click on this even, it is going to, uh, this is going to be this E current target library even, the even button. Uh, this is the name that uh, we have uh, in, the, in the library, I can show you. So in the library we have this uh, even button name, okay. And um, 
let me let me go back in here so i will click this uh, f uh, f12 and this is going to be library even button and if i click on this odd it is going to be library symbol one because that's how i call that uh, that uh, another one and if i'm going to open this uh, there are going to be bunch of things and one of them is going to be the name and it is going to be the the instance name that we have created so what i'm going to do right now is uh, in here i'm going to type uh, e current target dot name and now what is going to happen this is like that magic uh, if i'm going to click on this even button it is going to console log me this name uh, btn even and if i'm going to click on this uh, odd it is going to console log me this btn odd and what the uh, what i can do right now with all of this is uh, uh, basically uh, i can go ahead and uh, use if else statement uh, to determine uh, that uh, if the this e current target name is going to be button even uh, then we want uh, something to happen and it is going to be b uh, button odd we want other things to happen uh, okay so uh, for now i'm going to uh, comment out this console.log e current target name and uh, and yeah so uh, now what the, what we are going to do if I'm going to click on this uh, button even, or I'm going to call to this button odd, uh, I would like to anyway, in both cases, uh, generate the random number. So this line in, of code we can uh, have in here, and then we are going to console log this random number. This is not necessary to have, but anyway, I would like to console log it in both cases. And this result number text is going to be random number. This is like uh, we are saying that... Uh, that uh, let me let me go in here uh, this number uh, we are putting this to the random number so basically uh, basically uh, I let me go back uh, uh, this line of the code uh, this line of the code and this line of the of, of the code uh, I want to have uh, anyway uh, in both cases and also this uh, remain number I want to have in both cases and console.log I want to have in uh, both cases so uh, this I want to happen if I click on the button even or if I click on the button add it doesn't matter I want this part of the of the code to be to be running and then I'm going to create if and I'm going to type that if uh, and I'm going to copy this e current target name. So if e current target name is going to be equal and it's going to be equal to, uh, I will rather copy this. So it's going to be equal to this uh, button even, and we will have to put this to this uh, quotation marks. So if e current target name is going to be equal to the button even, then I want all of this to happen. So uh, I can go ahead and uh, uh, and uh, cut all of this uh, and uh, and paste it in here. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste it in here, like uh, like so. And uh, now uh, we will have to be a little bit uh, careful uh, with this uh, with this uh, parentheses and uh, and yeah because uh, this one at the at the bottom it's like uh, the whole function and it is going to put uh, it is going to be a little bit blue if i select one the another one is going to be a little bit blue and if you want you can uh, you can put some kind of uh, uh, comments right now in here so i can like uh, comment in here like uh, this is uh, closing of uh, the function and blah 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 if i if i want but i'm not going to be i'm not going to be bothered about it i just want you to be careful right now about this and uh, then uh, i have like uh, this if e current target name is equal to this uh, button even and uh, it is going to be opening is going to be in here and closing is going to be in here then in this if we have if else so it, we have like big if and in that if we have if else so we have if and this uh, is going to be with this one and uh, else if uh, this is going to be with this one so you have to be a little bit careful right now in here so if e current target name is going to be button even we want all of this uh, to happen and then uh, after this uh, after this one i'm going to type uh, else if and uh, right now i'm going to uh, put in here and i'm going to copy this uh, so if uh, e current target uh, name is going to be uh, button uh, odd 
uh, what we want to do. And uh, one more time, I will have to I will have to right now create this parenthesis in here and uh, and yeah. And uh, what I want to do to happen if it's a button uh, button out. So one more time, we are going to we are going to go with if. So if and uh, if this uh, uh, remain number is going to be one. So I'm going to type if remain number is going to be one and uh, that's uh, when we are going to click on the odd number that's uh, when we are going to win and i'm going to put uh, uh, this uh, curvy parenthesis and i'm going to say that uh, uh, i'm going to copy this console.log so i'm going to console.log that it's uh, it is odd and you win then we are going to make this uh, budget uh, to be plus equal 20. So I'm going to put it like so. Budget is plus equal 20. And then I'm going to say that uh, this, my budget text is going to be budget. So I will just, this is just uh, to change this visually uh, in the, in the, to, to, to change uh, the, the, the text because as, as you know this budget is only uh, changing the value of the variable and then we will have to uh, display it on this uh, my budget and then I'm going to type uh, else if and, and in the else if uh, if the remain number is going to be uh, zero so I'm going to type else if remain number is going to be equal to zero uh, we are going to uh, lose. So I'm going to type in here that uh, it is, uh, I will have to type console.log and I can type it is uh, even or uh, zero and uh, you lost. Okay, and uh, for now, right now, it doesn't matter if, uh, if it's going to be even number or it's going to be zero because uh, it's not going to be odd number and uh, we are going to we are going to lose. And we are going to say that the budget is minus equal 10, uh, 20 and this my budget text is going to be budget. So I'm going to copy this control C and uh, I'm going to paste it in here control V like so. And now I'm going to click uh, control enter and uh, hopefully I don't have any error and I'm going to try this. So I'm going to click on this even. Uh, let me do it one more time because I clicked too fast. So I'm going to click on this even. It's going to be 22, so I won. I will click on this odd. It is going to be 21, so it is odd and you won. I will click on this even, five, it is odd, you lo lost. I will click on this odd, uh, 19, it is odd, you win. And uh, let me see with, uh, with even, uh, it is even or on or zero and you and you lost uh, so yeah uh, basically basically like uh, like this uh, there are uh, still few things that I uh, wanted to wanted to show you in this uh, tutorial but I am going to I will have to do this in other tutorial because uh, yeah I wanted to show you how you can uh, put this uh, to this to the separated function in here and then uh, call the function and uh, and yeah and there is there is there is still one thing uh, which i showed uh, in the in the first tutorial and i didn't show in this one and right now i'm not going to show it and it's like uh, uh, now uh, i have a budget which is going to be 1000 but if i'm going to get to the zero uh, right now i will be still still be able to go to the negative numbers uh, so what would you have to do is uh, put uh, uh, everything uh, that we have in this uh, uh, in here to do one more if else and you would have to type that if the budget is uh, bigger or equal to 20 only then we want to happen this but I, I showed that in the first tutorial and I'm not going to be bothered with uh, that right now so basically this is all this is uh, it uh, I hope that you have learned something and uh, yeah, uh, I, I will hopefully continue with these tutorials and I would like to create uh, maybe the next one uh, where you are going to have some kind of uh, input and you are going to be able to bet uh, how much money you want to make. And then maybe later on we can, uh, we can uh, have uh, in here some kind of animations. Uh, when we click, we can have some kind of roulette, spinning and so on. Uh, but yeah, that's not for this tutorial. So for this tutorial, this is it. This is all. And uh, yeah, uh, if you have watched until the end, uh, please uh, write it in the comment. Uh, it helps me to stay motivated. And yeah, thank you very much and goodbye.